Good evening, Saints Nation. Welcome to the Saints Gaming CA broadcast, where we are about to get started momentarily with some CCA Summer Series Rocket League play in Division 1. My name's Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danner, is going to be your host here for tonight's action. And we have ourselves a tough one, to say the least here, as, of course, our Saints Claire Saints uh, green roster is going to go up against last semester's world champions in Northwood University's blue squad. Of course, they are absolutely insane to say the least. They've had themselves a pretty good start overall in the season so far, but we'll get to that in just a couple of moments. But with that, something new that we're going to be trying here on the broadcast is a little bit of a a proper pregame show of sorts. We're just going to switch that over in just a quick moment, but we're going to get ourselves a couple things of news to talk about in fact the first one being if you've watched the stream enough you've definitely seen him around but jay unfortunately going into september as just announced on his twitter he's going to be taking the path to pro extremely seriously and and leaving the collegiate scene in order to do so of course jay's been absolutely fantastic with us and his time here and of course we still have the Commonwealth Games that we do get to participate in just a month's time or so he'll still be on that roster but come September his eyes are going to be completely focused on the pro scene and we're definitely going to miss him here at the Saints and regardless of whether it's the pro scene or collegiate you know everybody here absolutely loves you and we will be following the J way all the time and just wish you the best of luck in your next steps. Of course, we have some other things to talk about, though. Of course, this may be the first time we're streaming league play for, um, for our Saints this time by, but it is there has been other matches, rather, that have happened a little bit off stream the last couple of days, doing a quick recap here. And we're going to start off with the gold side of things, where they've actually um, had themselves quite a bit of a hard time going 0-2 to start off the season. Of course, that being, that would be uh, Spood's comp and then nitrix who's definitely stepped up in the last little while but unfortunately close matches but unfortunately not able to kind of close it out this time by but then we do of course have our green roster which has been competing in the last couple days as well we do have a standings board for it this time by and they've had the one matchup and it was, it was on stream on college carball actually just last night Went to Game 5, they had to go up against the Akron Zips, one of the Akron Zips teams, but just could not quite close it out. It ended up being a Game 5 scenario, but just could not quite get it. It was a one-goal game in overtime and everything. So close, but could not quite get it. But, of course, the Saints green roster being able to capitalize and put on a good show is always good to see. But, of course, we do have that, that standings page in just a quick second, but... We'll see in just a moment. There we are, of course. And this is exactly what I was talking about as well when we were talking about Northwood Blue being an absolutely insane roster. Starting off the season extremely well. 3-0. and The only ones to match them as of right now is Ball State. And honestly, for Rocket League, I want to give a shout-out to them there because I honestly don't think that I've seen Ball State before in uh, CCA or in CRL. I could be completely wrong, but... Good on them to start things off. Alongside uh, Bruton Parker College as well, that one's a new one. A couple of names that you're not quite surprised to see here in the CCA, though. Of course, Stockton, Northwood, Akron. And then if you're following the East qualifiers at all, Miami University, how much of a, a sleeper pick that ended up being. <clears throat> and with that, that is where our Saints Green are going to be sitting right now, currently in the ninth position alongside their WVU and George Mason. But then what about Indian River State? This is something that I definitely want to talk about in just a... Excuse me about that. In just a moment here. As Indian River State disqualified from the CCA. And while disappointing, this hurts in multiple ways. Indian River State, of course, they competed in this, the uh, CCA East qualifier with a roster that they knew was not actually going to be competing like basic or rather with people that were not going to their school. Unfortunately for all of us here and for the CCA, we did not figure that out until the season actually started. So what this now means is Indian River State has taken up a slot in Division 1 and unfortunately kicked both uh <coughs> excuse me, gold and 
um, Penn State University's academy team out into Division Two. <laughs> Now, fortunately, we're not going to be able to replay that to get them in there. So, this one definitely hurts a little bit because uh, Indiana River State, by taking that 12th spot, means that, of course, our Saints and uh, PSU are going to be down in Division Two, And that hurts because the prize money. I think we do have the breakdown on in just a moment's time. But you'll see here for Division Number 1 in just a moment's time. That ninth and 12th in... In Division One, actually gets three hundred twenty-five bucks to go towards uh, the entire team. If you win in Division Two, you get three hundred. So, IRSU or I I R S C kind of ripping everybody off a little bit in that case. I know if, if this were Twitter, I'd be saying they just made the list. They definitely have. That's definitely an unfortunate spot all around. But of course, at the end of the day. At least we are still in Division Two. We have the opportunity to compete. Just not quite as much as what we were hoping for. With that being said, that's going to be our first attempt at trying ourselves a little bit of a news segment here on the Saints podcast. Of course, we'll get better at this as we go along, and maybe I won't be choking up so much. We'll have to see next time. But give us a couple more moments. We're going to throw this to a very quick break. Next time you see us, we'll be on the pitch for Northwood University versus St. Clair College.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game number one between Northwood University and St. Clair Saints Green. Of course, Saints Green, the absolute underdogs in this one, but they're definitely not playing like it right off the start there. It's going to be Vitaly, the first initial shot after the pass from Kamal. So Saints, they wanted one. They wanted one extremely early. But at the same time, here comes Lion Blaze looking for a shot himself. Now, Buddy up in the corner looking for the drop down. Hockey shot on target is going to go wide. couple shots on each side to start things off, but not too bad. Buddy going to be going for another one. Finds the post. Now Hockey passes it on over to Lion Blaze, who's going to try and take it up top. Off for Buddy, but it's going to be interfered with. A good stop there from the Saints defense, but the offense is not quite done yet here from the side of Northwood. But some good defense now from the Saints once again. He's going to clear it for just a second. For just another moment's time, but nope. Once again, here comes Northwood for the third time in just a couple of moments. Right in front, shot on target. Good save from Vitaly. Did have the opportunity to talk to some of the players on the side of uh, St. Clair a little bit before this game started. And Vitaly specifically asking him about uh, what he thought about the match and he comments about the match. And he said he knew that this one's going to be a tough one but it's always a pleasure to play up against the best. And of course, Northwood being the world champions and collegiate from last semester, definitely, definitely that top team. However, so far, Saints holding their own. They had to play defense for the last couple of moments, but had an opportunity for himself. But here comes Northwood on the other side. A little bit of a battle in the corner, gonna be picked up by a Vitaly. But then clear right out. Was put down the field for just a second there back in the St. Clair zone. However, once again, going to be just kind of stuck in a bit of a ping pong battle we have going on here today. As back and forth, just no real shots for this last moment or so. About to hit the halfway point here in this first game. But there's going to be another offensive opportunity. Northwood, buddy's in there looking for the shot, but could not get the tip on it. I think he was slightly interfered with. 
So beautiful defense on the side of St. Clair for now. But now Lion Blaze right back up into the skies. Does get past one. Can he get past two? He absolutely will. Lion Blaze is going to put it into the left hand side of the Saints net, dribbling it himself after a good pickup from center. And Vitaly nearly catching him. And then Kamal trying to readjust, but could not quite get there as well as Raman. So a good individual effort coming out here from Lion Blaze to put Northwood up on the board early, or not early, but first here in this first game. A little bit of an awkward spot there for the Saints in center field. The tic-tac-toe play nearly coming in clutch, but Buddy could not quite find the angle on it to finish off the shot. So it does just end up going into the corner where Kamal is going to be able to pick it up, load it up on boost, and look for the next play. There's some good forecheck coming out here from Buddy to put the pressure on. And the demo onto Vitaly as well. Could have made things a little bit squirrely there for the side of the Saints, but it is going to be picked up for just a moment. Vitaly up to the sky is going to be denied by Hockey. All the way into the St. Clair zone where Raman's trying to push this one out of bounds, but here comes Hockey once again, keeping it on the Saints' side of the field. Does have some teammates around as well. Buddy dropped down, looks for the finishing shot, but Raman getting the demo on the Lion Blaze, I think was the person that Buddy was looking for in regards to the pass, so that play got stopped dead in its tracks. Defensively, St. Clair not doing too bad. However, offensively, they've definitely been kind of stuck a little bit cold turkey for a little while up until that shot there from Raman. Good demo, though. Kamal, bounce shot is going to get denied. Good save there from Buddy. And Saints are able to muster up a little bit of offense, but right back into their own zone. Lion Blaze, another shot right on target, but a fantastic save from Raman. Another opportunity pushed aside by Vitaly. Stuck in the same zone. Kamal in the corner. Doesn't quite get all of it. It's going to get dropped down to Raman and then to Vitaly, who is going to be able to clear it out. Less than a minute of play here in this very first game for the Saints to try and tie this one up. But I know Lion Blaze is just sharking around the crease, just looking for that little bit of an insurance policy. Get that one extra goal just to put this one away. Buddy picks it up, flicks it up. It's going to hit the crossbar. Rebound is not going to be he picked up. It's going to be Raman drag racing it out a little bit here alongside Hockey. Does get end up demoed. Vitaly looking for the pass. Does not find it. Is there any Saints in net? The demoed uh, player Raman is going to come back just in the nick of time. That could have been bad. Saints have maybe one or two more offensive opportunities left if they can keep some control. However, it gets completely sent all the way into their zone. One more offensive opportunity at the most here for your Saints. Otherwise, game number one is going to go in the favor of Northwood, and it stays on the ground. That is going to be Northwood in a one nothing game here for game number one. Well fought, but gets kind of caught out at the end there. So a valiant effort, but... Just could not quite get it. Shots wise, Saints definitely were a little bit behind on that one. It's a total of four shots there for the Saints in game one. Meanwhile, on the side of Northwood, 11 shots in the pocket with the lone goal being from Lion Blaze. Definitely, <laughs> again, I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but a well fought battle nonetheless there from the Saints. You feel like you're going, or when you're going up against the world champions, that. <laughs> Like, with you being down, sometimes you fear that it's going to be a stomp. That match was absolutely not a stomp at all. Going to be hopping into game number two in just a moment's time. There we go. Of course, Northwood going to be up one here in this best of five matchup. And Saints once again kind of trying to pick up where they left off last time by. Kamal shot on target. Nearly going to find a rebound, though, coming through. Crossbar on two occasions here. Vitaly not going to be able to clean that one up, unfortunately. But it does mean that it does go back out of the same zone, right back onto the card. And now Lion Blaze looking for another individual effort. That's exactly how he scored the last one. Picked it up from center field and just took it himself. And Hockey this time is going to take it with a little bit of assistance there from Buddy. After a very awkward bounce here off the crossbar, he gets the initial one. And then he gets the double touch there, able to secure it himself there. So... Saints tried the attack extremely early once again, but unfortunately couldn't capitalize. And Northwood on the counterattack, able to capitalize on that one. Put themselves ahead early here in game number two. Saints never say die, however. They're going to be pushing us right back into the corner here. Raman even getting a little bit feisty there up against Hockey in the corner with the demo. I'm all going to take this one into the corner. Hockey after the respawn coming on back. And a little bit of a bump, actually, between teammates in the crease. Could have been scary, but the ball was controlled by Lion Blaze. So we see now around center field. Kamal looking to try and juke out Hockey, but Hockey is not having any of it. 
does get the centering opportunity. Good little redirect there from Raman. That was one of the Northwood players coming in for the one-timer. Could have been scary, and that could have been scary there from Buddy. However, he blew any sort of resources he had to try and get it done. And the Saints were kind of caught stuck there. Nobody had any momentum or boost. And it ends up being the demo against Kamal, and the ball still now stuck in the Saints zone. Right back through center, line is right at home. Center field in the skies, hockey, one on one versus Kamal, and he's gonna beat him for it. Unfortunately there, you have to make the guess, and unfortunately there for our Saints defense, could not quite capitalize on it. The right idea, got the backflip, got the original touch, but hockey was so square to the ball that there is absolutely no way he wasn't going to brute force that one in. And that's going to give Northwood that little insurance goal they needed here to go up by two here in game number two. Off the faceoff, right back into the Saints zone. Once again, bounce off the back. Lion plays, oh gosh, he was really waiting for that one. Would have been in prime time, one-timer position. And that he is again. What a pass from Hockey to find him downfield. And what a finish from Lion Blaze here. Look at this pass. Perfect timing. Lion Blaze sees it, spins around, dead center of the net. No contest. What an incredible reaction from the side of Northwood to put themselves up to three to nothing now. With still three minutes left in the second game, Northwood definitely get, uh, gets kind of scary. Right off the start, let alone when they're warmed up as we see Hockey looking for the hat trick here in this second game, but not going to find it just yet. Our Saints, I believe, still looking for their first goal in this entire series. They've been playing solidly defensively, but of course, defense will not win you the game. They're looking for some sort of offensive play. Kamal off the backboard. Vitaly's up there. That's a sick angle, actually. No, it's Kamal actually with the shot. But Lion Blaze going to make the save and right back downfield. Hockey once again looks for his teammate. Buddy sends it right back around. Demos are going to be coming across the board as well. Hockey and Kamal both taking each other off the board for just a couple seconds time. Vitaly no boost. This could be a little bit rough. Kamal is in the back of the Saints net though, ready for any sort of shot or any sort of opportunity. But you can see now at this point here, Northwood not looking to try and force the issue. If anything, they need the clock to go faster. So they're just going to keep the ball up in the air as much as possible to keep the Saints distracted. All centering passes. Just going to go into the front bumper of Lion Blaze. So not going to be quite handled just yet. Brings it right into the corner. Pinching pass. Going to be stopped by Kamal, though. Nicely done. Their shot does get stopped in that situation. Off the rooftop, we have a flying line blaze looking for another one. Not going to find it, though. Kamal, little breakout opportunity. Does have to deal with hockey, though. Does get past him, but Buddy coming in the nick of time. Rebound here from Vitaly. He's just going to end up bringing it into the corner. Another centering pass. Looking for Kamal. Not quite going to find him. Line blaze is going to drag race him through the skies to get to that one in time. He's going to send this one right back into the same zone. Hockey is going to end up getting his hat trick after the sharp angle shot. Again, nothing fancy. Just on target and finding your positions. And Hockey absolutely clutching it out to get himself the hat trick here. Threading the needle between the Saints defense. This, this super sharp angle shot. So nicely done there. That is going to be, of course, goal number three for him. And goal number four for Northwood University here in this matchup. Definitely all momentum on their side. Saints in a very, very rough position to try and at least even get one. Because right now, they just feel like they're kind of stuck, right? Like, they're doing their, their damnedest on the defensive side of things, and to be fair, doing quite well. But just offensively, Northwood just shutting them down over and over again. With less than a minute to go here, we have Hockey trying to clear us out once again, just try to kill off any sort of time left on the clock. One more shot off the crossbar. Another solid attempt. That would have been his second one of this game by itself there for Lion Blaze. If he was able to secure that one. Not going to quite get it this time by, though. With 30 seconds left, the tally coming on through. Again, just looking for that first one there for the Saints. But a solid denial. Once again, right around the tip top of the crease or right around the... Uh, the neutral zone, the center line, so to speak. Just seems to be where Northwood's able to just keep on converting on these denials and on these safe plays and just sending it right back into the same zone. With the clock ticking down, there's no uh, no contest on this one. This one's going over to Northwood. Mm -hmm. 
shots wise this time for game number two it was definitely a tough one for game one but it's going to just kind of continue on from there saints this time were able to get themselves five shots on the board meanwhile on the side of northwood they were able to get themselves 12 goals for that game of course being line blaze with one and hockey with three now or never here for the saints though of course being stuck in a uh, possibility of getting themselves swept here but of course this is the past world champion so if there's any team where it's going to happen it could very well be the, the world champions of collegiate last year but of course how awesome would it be to even at least take the game here never say die here at these saints they're going to be going through of course right off the bat and actually hockey is looking to get feisty right off the start here let's find a demo right away but to no consequence as of right now tally does push us on through but no real shot until Raman does manage to sneak a shot on target. However, not going to actually get past the post on this time by. Right back into Northwood zone. Saints trying to get this ball rolling here. Hockey just up in the sky. is not going to even allow any of the Saints to the opportunity of the challenge and it does seem like the saints are really taking their time rather than a multitude of shots they're trying to set up the perfect shot which can be a little bit risky at times of course and an awkward bounce actually towards the saints net but vitaly is going to be able to push that one aside that one would have been really weird that bumped off of i think ramen spoiler and nearly banked off the post and in but there was backup there for the saints thankfully so this remains a zero zero game Vitaly, solid redirect actually, but was a little bit of a slow one. So Hockey is going to be able to get there on time. The challenger from Rama is going to push Hockey out of uh, contention of that shot. Vitaly going to be there with the save. And actually both Saints went at the same time. That's going to leave the door wide open. Buddy says, thank you very much. I'm just going to tap that one in nice and quick with my bumper and finish the job here. Giving Northwood the lead once again. First goal in the series. And now game number three. Puts Northwood in the lead once again. In past seasons, of course, when we would watch the Saints play, it would oftentimes be a lot of like the download games. We would always kind of joke around like, oh, it's game five, okay, now, or it's game four, or it's their game they're trying to get uh, knocked out at. That's when they kick it up a notch. And we have seen it in the past. However, Northwood, I don't know if that's, that kind of strategy is going to work this time by here. As we now do see Kamal one-on-one -on -one here with Lion Blaze from behind. Though hockey's coming through, so Kamal's going to have to move quickly. And fortunately, because he had to move a little bit quicker from the chasing hockey, he was not able to get the one-on-one that he was looking for. And that's going to bring this right back around. Defensively sound hockey is. So is he on the offensive side of things. Lion Blaze going to find himself the centering pass here right on the, the sweet spot, right on the outside of the crease, and knocks it right through. Off the face off, right back into the Northwood zone. Lionblade is going to take it himself all the way down. Vitaly is there to meet him, however, so it's not going to drop down in front of the crease. Hagi, though, pushing him off through. The double commit coming out here from the Saints. Both Raman and I think it was Kamal sending themselves to make sure that ball gets saved, which it does, but could have left one of them out of position for a second. Hockey off the crossbar, actually. Extremely close. Buddy is not going to be able to actually beat Raman. Raman has a a uh, little breakaway opportunity, but could not get the good angle to get the shot off. So Saints had an opportunity, could not quite get it this time by. Lion Blaze tic-tac-toe opportunity. Hockey, can he find the finishing shot? He gets it pretty close, but not quite going to do it. Buddy, hard angle shot, but it's going to be Ramen with the last second save. A little flip there to get into the right position. Drop shot right into the crease once again. Lion Blaze just fighting it out in the crease, just making things annoying for the defense of the Saints. But Saints at on pace right now to get completely shut out here in this series here by Northwood. Granted, these games, game number one, only being one goal game, was extremely close. Northwood definitely warmed themselves up here in game two. But now, can Kamal shatter that opportunity there to be, or to stop themselves from getting skunked? We'll see in just a second. Another shot there, this time from, from Raman, going to be stopped by Lion Blaze. And a huge pass, huge shot. This is a bit of an awkward one for the Saints to handle, but they do end up getting it. 
was just barely hanging on the goal line, but it does end up going out this time. Bye. Aki in the corner, puts it down center to Lion Blaze, who has it for just a moment's time. Awkward bounce off Kamal. It's going to be Hockey right in front. Looks for the centering pass. Going to be denied. Cleared all the way down the field. Minute left to go here for the Saints to get themselves two goals to tie this one up. Or even just for morale's sake, see if they can get themselves the one. Just so they aren't skunked out in the series. Fighting hard, but Northwood just showing that exactly why they are the world champs. Bit of an awkward bounce there. Lion Blaze is actually just going to drop this one for hockey, but Tally is going to be there to make sure it doesn't go any further from that. Right back into the Northwood zone. Lion Blaze just playing with it up in the sky. He's just killing time as best as possible. And to be fair, right now, the Saints, they're not letting any of these shots go through. There haven't been anything like super crazy in the last little while, but just not been able to get anything offensively done at the same time here. Hockey flies on through once again with 10 seconds left, just trying to kill off as much time as possible and has been quite successful at doing so. One last offensive opportunity here for your Saints to find one on the board. Natalia goes up, it actually ends up getting dropped and Hockey is going to send this one along and it is going to make its way in. Northwood University Blue once again showing why they are the Summer Series champions from last semester and just doing a fantastic job securing this in 3-0 fashion and winning that last game 3-0 as well. So definitely the team to watch out for here in the CCA Summer Series as they just played absolutely fantastic. I can't like get it out of my head, just that fantastic play they had. I think it was in game number two where they had to play all the way. Like, Lion Blaze was already in the same zone. I think it was Hockey who sent the ball all the way downfield directly, essentially, to his bumper. Turns it around and just has to redirect it and puts it on in. Just the passing plays, the shots, everything kind of came cool and collected there for this side of Northwood. Making it happen here in this 3-0. However, on paper, you look at this matchup here with the St. Clair Saints Green. You'd honestly expect some of these games to go a little bit crazier in terms of goals from the side of Northwood. But... Game number one. There was only a one goal game. They absolutely played their hearts out there, especially, and kept it extremely close. Game four, yes, Northwood, okay, they turned it up. But then the second or the third game here, Northwood was only up by two goals up until that last little second where, I mean, it was already done at that point. So, honestly, fair fight nonetheless here for our Saints. And it's awesome to see, like, Green playing up against the tip top competitors. I know for the longest time here, inadvertently, the. Uh, Sinclair Saints gold roster kind of got a lot of the limelight and green wasn't necessarily second fiddle but we wouldn't see them as much but seeing them playing here in division two is absolutely amazing to see and we look forward to following them as well as gold is of course later on in this uh in this week that being said we do have actually more matches going to be coming up here on the St. Clair or the the Saints Gaming CA stream tomorrow in fact same time as it was today we're going to start things off at nine o'clock once again and this time it is going to be Saints Green up against Miami University. Of course, if you remember back from the East qualifiers, that was one of those teams, again, like I discussed during the pre-show, that was a bit of a sleeper, but was able to take down both Green and Gold during the qualifiers. I think it was Stockton's B team, but they were making upset after upset in that matchup. So again, the... The tough matches don't stop coming here for the St. Clair Saints green, sc uh, green screen, <laughs> green team, as we have ourselves another good one tomorrow. That being said, back to the drawing board. It, they're a tough team nonetheless there. Congratulations to Northwood University for the 3-0 victory. You know our Saints are going to be practicing hard for the rematch come conference playoffs time. But with that, we'll call it a night for now, and we'll see you all tomorrow for the next matchup versus Miami University.